my song. So this is pretty much we're gonna be an update. But not like an update update. It's gonna be like I wanna say just kind of talking about post grad life because I felt like I was not prepared. I was not prepared, nope. Um I don't even feel like you know how they'd be like, oh yeah, do internships, get these jobs while you're in college, that will help you um be prepared after. No. Well, at least not for me. That none none of that I feel like really prepared me. None of my internships really prepared me. I mean, it added to my experience, but because I didn't do my internships for that long, because I just felt like, because all my internships were pretty much unpaid. Yeah, all of them were unpaid. Um, and I don't know what people think, but like, it's really hard to work full time for free or even part time. Um, for free and then not have like another job and you're in school um it's just that it's just not realistic at all i don't think but i mean to each its own whatever so this is really just gonna be me just running my mouth and also i wanted to show you guys how i straighten this wig um it is a synthetic wig it's the outre stunner wig so it did not come like this i've had this wig for like i've had it for three weeks so when it first came, um, it was like super, super defined, like a lot of curls and stuff like that. But um, when it comes to hair, I kind of like my hair a little more coarse, a little messier. So I'm just, ooh. So I'm just kind of taking out um, all the knots and stuff like that. It isn't really a review. I just want to show you guys how I straighten this hair, how it takes to being straightened. Um, being that it is a synthetic wig it is a half wig i just i'm wearing it kind of like as a full wig i'm also not going anywhere so i didn't really put a part in it um well i had a part in it i just didn't update <laughs> i didn't update the part if that makes sense so like i had i made like a makeshift part because i had parted my own hair underneath but um i do have my twist in underneath and i was kind of wearing my natural hair for a little bit so I wasn't really prepared to like really wear this out or anything like that. High key, I could keep this hair like this. Like this is cute. Yeah, so I put my um my glasses on because I couldn't see. <laughs> um, let me turn my time I have the show on now I'm talking. So uh, I graduated in May. Y'all, this says that it could go up to 400 degrees. But I don't know what 400 degrees is on this thing. Did it do anything? Okay. Look at that. One pass. Real cute. Real cute. Mm-hmm. I bang with it. So, what is that? Like, four months ago? No, well, it's pretty much the end of September. So august july june may so yeah i graduated about four months ago and y'all i really uh uh your girl really thought she was depressed like i was really sitting on google trying to figure out what what like what was wrong with me like i was so down in the dumps like i was just like yo like i can't believe i don't have a job in my field um and granted i know like that doesn't happen but it's so different when people like say it and then when you're actually going through it so it's one thing when people are like yeah like I didn't get the job that I wanted or like not even the job that you wanted but the field that you wanted to be in um and I'm just like you know like damn okay you know there's that but But it's so different when, like, I came home, you thinking you have experience, and then you're not getting hired. Like, what What the heck? Everybody was like, you need to relax. Like, you just graduated. Oh, my God, guys. This is fire. Outre. Outre. Outre did the damn thing. Oh, 
so yeah everybody was like sis you need to relax like but I don't know like I'm just one of those people that is just like I know where I want to be in life and so once I know what the goal is I'm like okay boom what are the steps to get there like I'm not really about to do I'm not with that just sitting around not doing anything or like giving up on giving up all hope and stuff like that like nah I wasn't gonna do that like so the update that I'm trying to really give you guys is kind of more like the real deal like not the glitz and the glamour I'm talking like being um, um ooh that stutter though I'm talking like being um suffering from general discontent that's what I realized that I had everybody was laughing at me I'm like yo this is serious like you don't understand like I'm waking up just so unsatisfied with life like I'm just so I wasn't happy um it just like sucked but you start comparing yourself especially when it's like people you graduated with you y'all damn near did the same things um and it's just like damn why is this like why is it not happening for me like you know what I mean like there's so many things that I want to do and I can't do them because I was just unemployed like yeah so I was getting like these interviews I remember this one place I went to it was just not sitting right in my soul right so I interviewed and I just noticed on LinkedIn that they had like so many open positions so um I get there I'm like okay yeah this is the position I'm applying for I go into like my first interview there was like three rounds of interviews I pretty much got through all of them so I get to like the last interview and it was like a one-on-one -on -one at like some coffee shop with this lady and um so I'm t after you know she's explaining to me exactly what the job would entail I'm taking my notes down I always do that this is fire like y'all um, I, I was taking my notes and she pretty much told me that about like everything that um, I needed to know and so um, I was I was like okay and then she started talking about like the salary and stuff like that and sis was like nine dollars so immediately from there I'm kind of like mmm okay and so then but then she was like it's nine dollars but it's on commission just like okay immediately I was like my whole thing in this job process is I need to live I need to live off of the money that I get you know what I mean like this is not I'm not in college anymore it's not like I need like some part-time little job just to pay my phone bill and my groceries like I'm trying to travel I just have like bigger bills and then you know I have like student loans and I'm like no I can't nine dollars is not it's not gonna do anything and after I was like okay so she was listing me all the positions so basically you start at this point then you go to this point then you go to this point and then you're at this point okay so I'm like okay where is the the title that I applied for and sis started running in circles she started running in circles like she was not giving me a straight answer it was like I'm like okay so let's say the position was like marketing intern that wasn't it but um I was like so where's the marketing intern I was like where does like that come in under like where under what department is that under and she was like yeah so basically you start at this point then you go to this point sis I heard you I took down my notes where is the marketing intern position that so that's when I started to realize that they were advertising something other than what they were offering and that's what led me to working at the gym because I was just like money is money at the end of the day it doesn't matter sometimes it really don't matter where you work but if you can pay your bills on time <laughs> like I have really good credit and I'm trying to maintain my credit like I'm not trying to I'm only 23 and I just turned 23 like I'm not even a seasoned 23 year old I ain't trying to have no bad credit you know what I mean so yeah, was, to sum it all up, the job search process was just like unbelievable. Nobody is really going to prepare you for it. You're going to be shook if. Yeah, I feel like I've been talking in circles. But um, if you guys kind of, you bangs with these type of little chit chat, these real talk chit chats, um, let me know. Like, give me a thumbs up. 
comment down below let me know if anybody else just kind of like felt what I was feeling after graduation where you're just kind of like in a sucky mood and you just like what is going on with my life let me know let me know you guys experiences you could comment below you could I don't know DM me message me um, all my social media is pretty much public so also follow me on everything everything's in the description box